Are you troubled with Google Analytics installation? Are you confused about non-plugin and plugin methods? If yes, then continue watching this tutorial. This is Anil from bloggerspassion.com. Today I will show you three proven ways to add Google Analytics code to generate press. The first and recommended approach would be the generate press hook element. The second approach is plugin and finally the third one is Google Tag Manager. Before the live demonstration, let's discuss all these methods quickly. Well did you know the generate press premium version comes up with the elements module? This elements module includes several elements, but the hook element is robust of all. We learned that the GP elements module not just helped us in GA installation, but we could use it to install all kinds of scripts without impacting our website's loading time, speed, and whatnot. It eliminates the need for a child theme. Earlier we were using a custom coded theme, but for the sake of the generate press elements module, design flexibility, etc. We recently updated our website to generate press premium. We thought it is best to invest in Generate Press Premium and now we are extremely happy with our decision. To learn more about Generate Press Premium we recommend you to go through the Generate Press Review article. The link is mentioned in the video description. The premium version is always available. However the plugin approach is always available for the Generate Press free version users but it may slow down your website. We recommend Insert Headers and Footers plugin for Generate Press. Finally there is a Google Tag Manager approach. This is the hardest method for Google Analytics installation but comes up with tremendous advantages. We only recommend Google Tag Manager when you have multiple reasons for installing it. Investing time in Google Tag Manager just for Google Analytics installation is not worth it. Now it's time for practical steps. First, let's collect prerequisites. In short, we will require a global site tag and tracking ID. This tracking code will only be generated once you created a property in Google Analytics. Follow this procedure if you haven't created a property for your website in Google Analytics yet. For people who are running Universal or the old version of Google Analytics, the tracking code can be accessed via navigating to Admin, Tracking Info, Tracking Code tab. Copy-paste these credentials into a notepad. And if you are using Google Analytics 4, then the tracking code will be accessed by navigating to Admin, Setup Assistant, Tag Installation, and then Web Stream. So again paste these credentials somewhere safe. Now it's time for adding Google Analytics code to generate press using the hook element technique. Step 1, Create a hook element. So you must be familiar with this dashboard. Well, from the WordPress dashboard navigate to the Elements tab. Now here you will find all your elements. For now, let's tap on the Add New Element. Then select a hook as an element type, and then tap on the Create button. If you want to learn more about Generate Press elements and how they work, then visit our Generate Press review article. Step 2, Paste the Google Analytics installation code. This is the Hook Element configuration page. Here first give a title or label to the hook element. For example GA installation. Next, in the script column, paste the Google Analytics tracking code. Consider checking the prerequisites section if you want to learn how to access the GA tracking code. The process is not finished yet. So far you have only defined the script which is going to run for the hook. Step 3, run the Google Analytics hook on the entire website. Under the settings tab, select WP head for the hook option. By doing this you are commanding the generate press hook element to run the above script in your website header. Leave other options unchanged. And then navigate to the Display Rules tab. Here select Entire Site for the Location option. By doing this, you are commanding the hook element to run the above Google Analytics code on your entire website. That's it. Finally, hit the Publish button. Upon publishing this element, the Google Analytics code will start running on the entire Generate Press website. Method 2. Add Google Analytics to generate press using the Insert Headers and Footers plugin. This is a very straightforward method. First install the Insert Headers and Footers plugin from the WordPress plugin repository. After plugin activation, navigate to Settings and then Insert Headers and Footers tab. Here three script boxes for the website header, footer, and body are available but we have to paste the Google Analytics code to the header script box only. Once you save the changes, the Google Analytics script will start running on your website header. So this is how this method works. 
Method 3, Installing Google Analytics to Generate Press Using Google Tag Manager Before installing Google Analytics, we have to install Google Tag Manager on Generate Press, so log into the Google Tag Manager and create an account. Under Account Setup, you also have to set up a container. It is best to set the container name as your website URL. Make sure to select Web and tap on the Create button. Agree the terms and move forward. Wait a bit. The first thing you will see on the Google Tag Manager is these code blocks. You have to paste these codes into the head and body section of a Generate Press website. We will use the Generate Press element and hook technique again to get this done. If you are still using the Generate Press free version, kindly upgrade, so let's create a hook element for the head section code. For this navigate to the Elements tab, tap on the Add New Element option, and select Hook. So copy and paste the Google Tag Manager head section code into this script box. In the Settings tab, select WP Head under the Hook tab. Set Priority to 10. And then move to the Display Rules tab. Here select Entire Site under the Location drop-down menu and finally publish the element. Similarly, create another element for the body section code. Now instead of WP head, select WP body under the hook element. Set priority to zero. Then under the display rules tab, select the entire site as a location and publish the element. The Google Tag Manager on a Generate Press has been installed successfully. Now we are free to create tags through GTM and run them on our website. Now go back to Google Tag Manager and navigate to the Tags tab. Step 2. Create a Google Analytics tag inside Google Tag Manager. First give a label to your tag and then choose a tag. Depending on the Google Analytics property you have created for your website, Choose either the Universal Analytics tag or GA4 tag. Step 3. Paste the Google Analytics tracking ID. We believe you have this credential. If not, navigate to the prerequisites section of this video. Make sure to checkmark this option. So you have just created a Google Analytics tag. But it needs a trigger to execute each time your website loads. Google Tag Manager has profined triggers based on the nature of tags, so select a trigger for Google Analytics tag. We are going to select All Pages Trigger, so that our Google Analytics tag will run on the entire website. So we have completed the Google Analytics tag configuration. In other words, this is how you can install Google Analytics on a Generate Press website with the help of Google Tag Manager. Step 5. Verify if the Google Analytics tag is working or not. Gladly GTM has an in-house verification tool called Google Tag Assistant. Tap on this preview button to run the Google Tag Assistant tool. The Google Tag Assistant will open up and run your website over another browser window in real time. After a few seconds, it shows the summary. This summary included all tags that are fired by Google Tag Manager on a website. If you see a Google Analytics tag under the tags fire and tab then congrats you have done the job successfully. Google Analytics Verification Open up any web page you would like on your website. Then inside Analytics, navigate to Reports and then the Real-Time tab. If Google Analytics works correctly, then you must be seeing the active user here. So this is all about adding a Google Analytics code in Generate Press. Don't be confused about the methods. All three methods are 100% foolproof. We personally recommend the Generate Press Hook Element solution because it is actually recommended by the Generate Press team and will be beneficial in the long run. So act now and upgrade to Generate Press Premium. If you want more information visit our website article. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video.